This is Stephen Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Wounded soldier Jordan Gill, do you want to tell us what's the, what's going on first? Yeah, it seems to be a regular occurrence for me, doesn't it? But uh, no, it was, uh, I've, I've had an operation on my hand. It's been needed to be done for the last two years. So uh, I've, had a, I've had a dodgy hand for a while now. So uh, I've got the op done. Uh, it's a full fusion in the CMCJ joint. Um, they did a bone graft from my hip, put the bone in my hand, fuse it all together with staples and that, sealed it all up. And I'm in this for a few weeks now. So uh, I'll, I'll be ready to fight in August. Good man, but you'll be able to dine out on the last win though, still won't you, until then? I'm going to milk it as long as possible, I think people are getting a bit sick of it, but we'll, we'll carry on and see, see if we can milk it a bit longer. Damn right, Jordan, I always say I'd shave my ass with a broken bottle to do what you've done there, so... <laughs> <laughs> I won't fancy that. No. We're here ringside, Josh Warrington's just become world champion again. What did you make of it? I thought it was great, it was a great fight, I'm pleased with Josh Warrington. You know, to come two time world champion, he's made history tonight in front of his Leeds fans as well. Fair place with him, uh, he seems like a nice dad, and I think he deserves this win. Uh, Kiko Martinez is the ultimate warrior, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, we saw a great fight from him, obviously, it was cut early, he was down in the first round. Uh, Warrington caught him with a short right hand, uh, it was a looping right hand, and Kiko went a little bit too wide, and you know, Josh Warrington got to him first. And it was a great shot, it knocked him down, but Kiko got up because that's what he does. He's a warrior, he come for it, and he got a bit of momentum in the fight. And you know, he started landing on Josh as well, so it got a little bit closer as the rounds went on. I think the first two was a landslide for Josh, but Kiko worked his way in, and, 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 but you know, he was bloodied, he was bruised. He, he found it hard in there, so um, I think the, the stoppage come at the right time. He, he started to get a little bit battered, a little bit worse for wear, and uh, it, was a, it was a great stoppage from the ref. What do you make of the Warrington, because Lee Wood was there, your mate? That would be a tasty old British affair again, wouldn't it? It would be a tasty British affair, but you know, we heard, we all heard Josh Warrington. I don't think he wants it. I think uh, Warrington wants to fight in America. I think he's deserved a shot in America, but you know, we're all dying to see that fight with Lee Wood. Um, you know, for me, I think I, I think stylistically, Lee Wood's all wrong for Josh Warrington. Um, I think his power would be way too much for Warrington. I just think he's too good as well. Um, you know, Lee knocked out Conlon, uh, who's a master boxer. Uh, Warrington, you know, isn't at the level of a boxer of Conlon, um, and he hasn't got the power to, to trouble Lee. So I just think stylistically as well, it's, it's not going to be a, a, a harder fight than, than Conlon for Lee, and I think Lee will knock him out. But, you know, Josh Warrington has earned the right tonight, well, and before tonight, to have a big fight in America. Um, he's two time world champion. If he wants to go to fight in America, do it and, uh, and, and we'll see Lee in the number fight. Good man, you've been on commentary duty there. Do you enjoy that side of the, the ropes? I quite enjoyed it. I'm, I'm trying to do a good job so I get a regular gig. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's twice the vast be back now, so I must be doing all right. But no, it's been good. I only did the first three fights. We saw some really good fights. Callum French uh, from your neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's done a really good job. Uh, I prospect. Really impressed, really impressed with him. Uh, real nice lad as well. Very likeable. Uh, yeah, really good support um, from the North East as well. So, yeah, he's done, done really well. We've got Matty Wright um, as well and uh, Corey O'Regan. So I did them three fights yeah. and, and they all did a good job. Ebony Bridges became world champion. Yeah. What did you make of that one? Because that was quite a good atmosphere as well, wasn't it? For, yeah, for Ebony? it was right before the main event. Um, uh, it was right before the main event and uh, it was it was a great fight. Um, you know, the, the champion was is a solid champion. Um, make no bones about that, you know, she had to be on her A game to beat her and she did, so fair play Billy Bridges, she's become one of the important champions tonight and she'll be looking for some big fights, maybe rematch with Shannon Corner. Last one for you Jordan, after a performance like that from Warrington and we see Conlon and Lee would not, where do you fit into this picture? Yeah, it's interesting, I was saying earlier, I think I'm in a really good position, uh, you know, when you're a European champion, you're ranked in, in the governing bodies, you're up there, I think I'm ranked Hollywood, WBA, ranked Hollywood, WBC, Hollywood, uh, the IBF, so, you know, I think it's the case of, Seeing how the, the situation unfolds, what happens with the titles, whether they're vacated, whether someone's beat or someone moves on, or whether somebody wants to give me a shot, um, we'll see. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't tend to be, see that mate? That's my, that's my pal, Hopey Price, he's, yeah. he's off. 
Obviously, yeah. he's taken his with his own. Uh, but I think, I think they've had a good night. They yeah. have. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think I, it's just it's just one of the things where I think I need to see see where I fit in the, in the, in the situation. I'm, I'm still young. I sometimes I feel like oh, I'm behind. I need to be world champion now. I need to be world champion now. And deep down, I know I'll get there. But it's the case where like, I look at these world champions, like Kiko Martinez. He's been beat ten times. He's in his mid thirties. Yeah. Um, Lee Wood, one of my best friends. He's 34 this yeah. year. And you think I used, I'm six years behind him. I'm 27. So um, I've got the time on my side. You know, the, the, it will happen. I will be in my prime when, when I get there. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you want to get on a run before you can walk, and that's I think that's natural. But I, I, I'm ready to fight for world title now. Good but if man. I have to defend my European title twice before I get a chance, yeah. then I will. Good man. Last one, a bit of fun. You can't commentate on your own fight. So if you could pick one current fighter to commentate on your fight, who would you pick? Um, who would I pick to commentate on my fight? And my upcoming fight or my last fight? Any. Okay. Um, Lerone Richards. All right. Just because I like his insight. And uh, and if, if I was boring myself by watching myself fight, then he'd definitely send me to sleep. <laughs> He's got a very calm voice, he's like, he's a very mellow guy. So, yeah. You know I'm going to clip that bit out and tag him in it though, Jordan, yeah, aren't you? You'll get a bit of beef back you, in the gym. You tell him that he's a very mellow guy. I will do. Jordan Gill, it's always a pleasure to see you, mate. Thank you, mate. All right, good luck with the recovery. Thank you.